Hi, welcome to Game Creation, and this is probably the moment you've been waiting for, the second method, um, and well done if you've guessed this correctly, um, but this method is all to do with binary, and storing all the files in binary. Um, so basically what we've done um, in yesterday's video is we've got our four files, so the um, game file itself, the array, the font file, and the text file, and we've just always kept them separate and yes they've kind of been collected by the install program um, the exe the install exe, exe program but then as soon as you install it they're just put in the four different places um, or three of places in the asset assets folder and then the um, game file there but wouldn't it be great if we could just combine them all at the start just as soon as we install this that it just creates a mega exe file to play the game with everything included. Yes, it's a slightly bigger game, but it just has everything there. And so when you email it to someone, they don't have to sit there and install it each time. Well, that's where binary comes in. So with binary, what you can do is just bake everything into the game. And what it does is when a person wants to play the game, um, what we're going to be doing is um, creating a kind of getting the game to create a temporary file on a win on in Windows that can run the array that can run the fonts and all that stuff, and then we're going to get rid of it at the end. That's the theory. Let's see it in practice. And bear with me in today's video because this is not easy to do. I've got to remember all the bits. So let's get going. So we've opened up the same uh, files we've been using throughout this uh, week, and what I want to do is. Um, I want to go up to this area here, data elements, and there's loads of lovely bits in here, but the bit we're interested in today is binary data. And what we want to do is add all of our assets into that. Let's just close that down. All of our assets into that, so our array. We want to add the font, and we want to add the dialog box. So we want to add all those elements into there. And then that's it. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> okay, so that's telling Click Team, yes, we want those to be stored in our game file. So when I go to File, Build, Application, it will store those. So those are stored in the game. But we also need a way of actually, I don't know, reading them, because at the moment they won't be read. So in the event editor, and let's go to where the array is, uh, which is down here in tiles. Let's go to tiles. Okay. So at the moment, I'm loading the array the traditionally a traditional way. We're looking for the assets folder, then we're going to array. But with binary, that that works a lot different. What I'm going to do is just click on the left here, press Control and C, Control and V, a few times. And I'm just going to delete that first one. So. The first thing we need to do to load this array from binary is go into here and binary files, extract binary file. What that means is we're going to get the person who's running this game, their computer, we're going to um, get them to have a temporary file um, created on their computer for this array. Now, you might think, well, what's the file path name? Now, Click Team's clever here. Click Team knows on your computer that you're building this on, every single file will have a unique file path. So, for instance, the file path for this array is all of this stuff up here, forward slash or backslash array. And so what Click Team does is it uses that as a kind of um, I don't know, a file name for the binary file. Now, even though the person who is running this game won't have those folders at all, it's just a way of click team to make sure that it knows what you want. So, we want this one. So, it's kind of weird, and it's array like that. I'm just uh, going to copy that because we'll need that quite a few times. So that essentially, where you've created that array on your computer, the file name, uh, the file path, the full path 
all the way up to the E drive uh, for my computer is now what that one file is called. And it's re it, I think it's a clever system. I know some people don't like it, but it ensures that it's unique. And so that's the, um, so I can refer to it. So it's very easy to figure out what it's called. Um, if, for instance, Click Team just called it Array, then maybe later on I'll create another one called Array and there wouldn't be a, a way of, of making sure it's that array that I'm talking about. I hope that makes sense. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. So you need to extract it first. So it's in the file and we've now created this kind of external temporary file, um, which we have no idea where it is. I kind of have an idea where it is, but we don't need to know where it is on the user's computer because now we know um, that it exists and ClickTeam will, will work out where it is. Okay, now the next bit is we're not loading the array from there, um, unfortunately. Um, what we need to do is we need to, um, where are we, file names and the binary file temporary file name. And I'm just going to paste that in that I copied before, just the full path. Click OK. And so when that is loaded, you need to make sure that you um, release it. It's not good having these things uh, hanging around. Okay, now before I move on to the font and the um, text file, I'll need to see whether that works, which hopefully it will. I have absolutely no idea. Um, we're going to create the application. Um, and I'm going to pick the same place as I did before. Uh, call it with a binary on the front. Okay. So I've saved it in here, just called it binary. And remember, I'm just going to delete the um, installation file and everything else. And this is my folder that's nothing to do with the current project. It doesn't have the assets in or anything like that. Let's double click on it. See if it's worked, and it's worked brilliantly. Okay, and let's do the other bits. So we just repeat that for the other sections. Um, so let's just copy and paste that. And I always do it on different, I don't know why I always do it on different um, line. So we're gonna extract um, the text file and I always copy and paste so what I'm doing is copy and pasting it from the actual folder itself because spelling mistakes are so easy so I won't I won't rely on myself to type it properly so all I do is go to the top here copy up here and then I do loosely double click and copy that okay copy all of that then I'm going to edit that because I need it from the binary now. Uh, where are we? File names, binary file name. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that because I want to release it afterwards. And we'll do the font as well. Uh, copy the path name. And this, the font especially, they're always weird, always weird spellings. So I make sure I copy and paste that. Edit that. So we're now going straight from the binary. And then straight away afterwards, make sure you release it. And it's really important that you release it. So you extract it, use it up, um, and then release it. Okay, so let's see if that works. So I'm just going to enable this. I'm getting a bit bored of enabling and disabling. I should probably just 
I've made the decision at the start of the week just to keep it enabled for the week, but there we go. Okay, I'm going to do the same as before. Build application. I'm going to call it. Uh, I'm just going to call it binary. I'm just going to yeah. I'm just going to copy over the other one. Okay. And let's just go into the builds file. There we go. Let's double click on it, and hopefully, there we are. All working brilliantly. So now, instead of having to send your friend or colleague or whatever, whoever it is um, an installation program, which, I mean, in this day and age, people really don't like installation programs, I can tell you that much. Um, you're much more likely to get them to try out your game or whatever. Um, first of all, if it has a nice icon, we should probably change that. Um, but secondly, that it's just a double click and have a quick game and you can test it straight away rather than um, having to install it. And imagine you've got um, someone testing your game, they're taking their time out to make sure your game is working and everything, and you know, they're having to each time install the program, install the program, install the program. It would drive them nuts. I don't think that would help you for very long. Um, you could see that this does take a little bit more time and, and maybe a bit more organisation to make sure that um, you've gone through the process for everything that you want to include in your game. But this is a much, much more powerful um, way of doing it. It does um, mean that the file is, is bigger. Um, with the install program, a good installer will compress the, um, the game and all the assets and stuff, um, which I'm not quite sure that this does a very good job compressing it. Um, but for the sort of games that we're making, um, <laughs> they're easily emailable um, unless you're using loads and loads of graphics in your game. I hope that's been helpful. If it has been, please keep the comments coming in. Um, hopefully I'm feeling much better next week. We shall see. Um, but I'll just keep my fingers crossed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to see more from us, please click subscribe. We release videos every single weekday at 7pm UK time. Thank you.